How many people are you counting in this room right now? Oh, gee, that's he, that, he said six. What was that? Oh, what was that sound? Oh, I gotta get out of this room. <laughs> My name is David Schechter. I'm a veteran reporter, and now I work for you. I'm taking real people out on the road to get their questions answered, and you're coming along for the ride. This is Verify Road Trip. On this episode of Verify, we're going ghost hunting, but we're not going to verify if ghosts are real. We're focused on ghost hunting technology. There's a whole subculture out there of people who are using this stuff. Are you feeling a little nervous? No, I'm good. <laughs> That's Amy Ogletree. She's a bookkeeper and a Verify viewer. She volunteered to explore this question with us. Is there science behind ghost hunting technology? This is not your normal living room. <laughs> so I like to collect haunted items or things that we've gotten from investigations. This is Jeremy Jones. He runs a company called Paranologies. The house is very interesting. Um, I wasn't expecting that. From his garage, Jeremy builds ghost hunting tools. Inside this piece, Jeremy installs a static detecting chip. He thinks ghosts may give off static electricity, so if the box lights up and nobody's nearby, it could be a ghost. This is a theory that I'm using that spirits can use static. It's all theory. To test it, he rubs his arm hair and makes his own static. So are ghosts just walking so around, I, rubbing their arms all over the place? Or? But what he showed me today, I think, does work because he did prove, and we tested it, it does detect static electricity. Enough talk. It's time to hunt. This is the Haunted Hill House in Mineral Wells, Texas, and it's popular among paranormal investigators. What do you think about this place, like we're here now? It's creepy cool looking. It's kind of spooky. I'm excited. <laughs> it's yeah. a lot spooky, actually. I mean, she's just courageous. She's going into dark rooms in this haunted, weird house. The light doesn't even work in there. Are you nuts? Jeremy is here with us tonight, and we're going to see ghost hunting technology in action. I don't think we need to go upstairs right now, do we? <laughs> Let's wait. Let's head upstairs. I'm a little nervous going upstairs. So, let's start off in here. We're trying to research whether or not this is all paranormal or if it's something that we can explain. Jeremy brought along one of his devices that scans radio frequencies. The theory is spirits can talk over the white noise that it makes. Is anybody here with us? What? What? In a bag of death. Whoa. In a bag of death? In a bag of death? That's that what it here? sounded like. Can you say bag of death again? <laughs> no, let's not talk about bags of death, please. Now he's using his static detector, and it's picking up a charge. There it is right there. I mean, it's easy to find the field. It's like from here up. And keep in mind, this isn't, it's not detecting like electrical poles outside or anything like that. The one thing we do know, we have a static field surrounding us. What we don't know is why. One of our photographers, Johnny, wondered if the charge was in the insulation. So we pull the small piece from the wall and put it on the ground. Good yeah. call, Johnny. Yeah, mm -hmm. great call. I debunked it. It's midnight in the Hill House, and now we're checking in with blogger Kenny Biddle, who's in Pennsylvania. He's a skeptic who writes about paranormal investigations. What do you think about um, voices coming through radio frequencies? It's, <laughs> <laughs> they're doing, <laughs> oh my, oh my, I love this one. He says what we're hearing are just random snippets from ads and DJs. And if you combine it with the expectations of a paranormal group that's in there asking questions over and over again, I mean, and that's just waiting for something that sounds like a word or sounds like an answer that fits what they expect to hear. Kenny has studied a lot of ghost hunters, and his biggest problem is most don't use technology in a scientific way. 
They're just hooked on the thrill. You got to go in and find a cause. If something goes off and you can't explain it, that does not mean it's unexplainable. I agree. I'm not seeing that. I'm not believing it. After hearing from Kenny, Amy's now feeling a little skeptical about ghost hunting. But that was before we went back upstairs. There's something about that last radio session that really kind of creeped me out. Phil, who owns the house, is now taking the lead. He's also using a radio scanning box, and he tells us there's a boy up here named Josh. Hey, Josh, how old are you? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? He said he was six. The way they spoke and how clearly they spoke, it was, it was really chilling. This is where the power of suggestion comes in. Phil had just told us that Josh died when he was six, so what I heard after that sounded like six. But when you clean it up and play it back, it doesn't sound like anything. But things got weirder when we heard what sounded like the word chance. That's our producer's name. Chance. 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 Hi, Chance. Yes. Do you like chance? That sounded like a yes. I'm taking that as a yes. Really kind of spooked me and um, freaked me out a little bit. Say chance. chance. What? That sounded like chance. That sounded like chance. That was chance. That's twice you said chance. Hanging with you in the doorway there. It's 2 a.m. Here's what we've learned. A static detector does detect static, and a radio scanner is quickly scanning radio channels. But skeptics like Kenny say ghost hunters don't use technology in a scientific way. But what does Amy think? Well, I was with Kenny. He made a lot of sense, and um, until he took me upstairs and I heard Phil's radio. <laughs> then I'm going back the other Put way. Put you back so. on the fence. Yes, huh? yes, yes. Is there science behind this ghost hunting technology? Yes. Radio frequencies got me. You good with that? I'm not. I'm not good with that, but this is your trip. We saw and heard the same things, and I don't think there's any science here, but Amy does. So don't take my word for it. Take hers. <laughs>